the difference between President Uhuru Kenyatta and the Deputy President Dr. William Samoei Ruto is that President Uhuru Kenyatta has a team of advisors and this team include Raila Amolo Odinga behind his work. Yet the Deputy President has a team of bloggers behind his work. And these bloggers include people like eh, Honorable Kimani Ichungwa, Honorable Moses Kuria, Bahati MP Ichu, Kimani Ichungwa, Kimani Ngunjiri, something like that one. People like Kipchumba Murkomen, people like Boni Halwale, among others. So this trick has helped President Uhuru Kenyatta to beat this team Ruto hands down. And this beating started all the way from the governors. If you remember, Kiambu governor, Babayao. Then he came to cabinet where the, the CS for agriculture went home. Then he came to senate. People like Kipchumba Murukomen and the team, Susan Kihika, they went home. Now he is in the National Assembly. We are waiting to see how things are going to unfold. People like Shinari now are at home. This strategy has helped President Uhuru Kenyatta, politically speaking, to beat Tim Ruto hands down. Because really, these people, their work is just to write on Twitter, post on Facebook, and make noise on camera. While President Uhuru Kenyatta team is in the boardroom discussing and strategizing on how to execute some issues at Uhuru's work. So like last time Madaraka they went this team so that President Uhuru Kenyatta is having some nice time with his deputy, the dressing code, and the friendly talk they had. They were quick to rush on social media to do their work as usual, post, tweet, everywhere that Ruto, came, Ruto making comeback. You will see that they started saying that President Uhuru Kenyatta now isolating Raila Odinga. Raila Odinga betrayed. All sorts of things how they normally write. Yet they don't know that President Uhuru Kenyatta is making these things to happen just to cool down the temperature of politics in Kenya. But politically speaking, you'll find that President Uhuru Kenyatta has no business or interest in his deputy. He has no business with him, anything to do with him, but only to cool down the political temperature in the country. So we found out that now, after Uhuru had finished the, these dramas of dressing code and everything, the president at night sneaked and he went to pick Raila Amolo Dinga and they headed to the city in a pro box where really they went to inspect and supervise the NMS work that was happening, that is happening in Nairobi because now this metropolitan is under President Uhuru Kenyatta with the generals that he put there to do the work. So my question here is that who is fooling who? Who is isolated? And really who is who here? Can someone give me an answer? Now, my advice to Ruto team is that please stop being too much excited, over excited about things and start strategizing politically on how to rebrand a new party that you are going to work on which will help the deputy president. This gang should know that the Jubilee party has gone with Uhuru Kenyatta and Uhuru is going to dictate everything in this Jubilee party just the same way he, he was reading riot to them, to the Jubilee MPs, during the PG at State House. They had nothing to say. They had nothing to do. They were just being, you know, 
told what to do in 30 minutes time. Didmas brother, the Kiminini MP, really is doing good job in Kiminini. But I couldn't stop laughing when I saw how he was writing on tweet that the meeting went on with three AK-47 on the table. So they could not say anything, meaning things were forced at their throat. Again, another difference between President Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto is that Uhuru Ruto has a handout followers. No handout, no followers. That is why Nakuru County leaders are in plan to defect from Tangatanga and rejoin their own Uhuru Kenyatta. People have started facing Mount Kenya now. Bahati MP Kimani Gunjiri, who used to threaten and lecture Uhuru. I can't imagine the other day they were in a press briefing. You cannot imagine the change of heart currently. Susan Kihika, Senator of Nakuru, he's trying to make a comeback too. So the Deputy President is going to remain with Kalenjin support only. These people are going, are, they are going back to where they came from. They are not going to be with him as the time goes by. If you can check on their body language and what they are doing currently. Wangwe, the new majority whip in the National Assembly, has also been assigned all the duties. Now he will deal with Team Tangatanga one by one. The letters are now out. People like Kimani Ichungwa, Moses Kuria, Joyce Chepkoech, Cornell Serem. These people now, they have seven days to explain themselves. Even Aden, Aden Dwale Hajakua immunized. Bado wana Musaka. Chumachake Kingali Motoni. So, ukiona Kobe anainama jua tu anatunga sheria. All Kikuyus are going to go back. They are going to face Mount Kenya. They are going to support their own Uhuru Kenyatta and they will make their next move. So, don't be fooled. Ruto should be brave and he should avoid these handout leaders because Uhuru is dealing with these people mercilessly. He's ready to destroy them for him to get what he wants. He should look for people who are going to strategize for him and not these bloggers. He has to do away with the bloggers and look for a team that will work for him strategically, make a party and forge ahead, form coalition with the people who has interest like him and they move forward. Otherwise, he will be sleeping on duty, trying to make, trying to use his bloggers to do this blogging job, crying on social media and with all dramas as the other team move forward. So thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe. That is the main support you can give to this channel and see you next time. Also, you can leave us with your comment.